Parshas B'chukosai. We know that this is the parsha, the brachas, and the clothes. The parsha where it starts off, if you have, do everything right, so then they're tremendous brachas, and uh, then never in Shlishi we begin being, that if, uh, if you don't do things right, then chas v'chalila, all the curses and all the terrible things that take place. And uh, we tend to think of this as, listen, if you do it right, if you listen, bracha, you don't listen, close. But the truth is, it's not really correct. It's not either or. It's not davar v'yipucho. It doesn't go that way. That's not the way it works. Because if you look at the beginning, it says, Im b'chukosai telechu. Right? Um, but the klola does not begin talking about Im b'chukosai lo telechu. It starts off saying, Vim lo tishmuli. It's not even. It starts off b'chukosai telechu. And then it starts, the end is, Im lo tishmu. It's a different thing. It's not we would have thought that on something that is two sides of the coin, in in but it doesn't say that. That's not the way it goes. Furthermore, when it says in the beginning of the parish, if you're going to follow my laws and follow my way of life, right? Which the Gemara says the Karashi brings down, being a male in Torah, being toiling and studying Torah and living Torah, right? But when it talks about the klala, when it talks about the thing which is the, the where 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 chas v'chalila, we get the, the other side. It says v'im b'chukosai timasu. If you will be despise my laws, not just you won't walk in them, you will despise them. That seems to be a more of an extreme. Furthermore, if you look at the uh, bracha itself. That also is questionable, because the bracha says that that nasati uh, shalom baaretz. I'm going to give peace in the land. What do you mean I'm going to give peace in the land? Why doesn't just say v'haya shalom baaretz? There will be peace in the land if you're doing everything right. Then there should be peace. It doesn't say that. It says Hakadosh Baruch Hu says I will give you peace in the land. And then it's even more difficult. Because afterwards it says, the next Pasuk is, or adopt them as a you're going to be chasing your enemies. The Ramban points out this question, that what do you mean? If there's peace, what are you doing with the enemies? So therefore, I think that the way that we have to um, approach this is have a recognition that we're not talking about Olam Haba over here. The bracha that we're talking about in Pasha's B'chukosai is not talking about Olam Haba. We're talking about this world. And in this world, there is no such thing as everything being easy and calm and beautiful. There are no free rides. It doesn't work that way. The pshat is that there are always challenges. And that therefore, even when we have the bracha, that does not mean that we don't have challenges. There are challenges. And the Torah is saying to us, we have to view it as such. Mm-hmm. You can be doing things right, and then a Kodesh Baruch is going to help you. For chas v'chalila klala, you got to be doing things very wrong. It's not just one side, the other side of the coin. There is a big distance in between, which is a nechama to a very great extent, that we don't get hit over the head unless we're really very bad. But at the same time, it gives us a perspective. V'nasati shalom ba'aretz means it's not going to be natural. The natural thing is that there are always levels of society. And there are always challenges and there are those who want this way and want that way and it's going to be this way and they want to do less. 
HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I'm going to give you a bracha. Then Asati Shalom Baruch, I'm going to give you peace in the land. It's a special bracha. Even though there are challenges, even though there are people and things and situations that are going to make it very difficult. And therefore, the idea is, when you put the effort of being a Melian Batara, so, so then, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says that I'm going to give you a bracha that because you're putting forth all your efforts, I'm going to make it easier for you to work on it. But recognize, it's never going to be easy. <coughs> Don't think that there's ever a time where you can come back and sit back and put your feet up. It doesn't work that way. You've always got to work. In this world, we always have to put forth the efforts. And if there are no enemies inside, there are going to be enemies outside. Because there are going to be people who are going to be saying they don't want us. They don't like what we stand for. And that's the mitzvah of life. But we can be zoha to great bracha if we put forth the efforts in the way that a Baruch <laughs> wants us to do it. We study Torah. We try to follow the ways of Torah. We put our efforts and made all our kaiches to make sure our families are families of Torah, our ways of life are ways of Torah. Kersh Baruch Hu says, I'll give you peace. I'll make things go right. Keep working. If you work, you put forth the effort in the right way, Kersh Baruch Hu says, you'll see bracha. But you'll still have to keep working. That's our job in this world. Yeah.